Hello and welcome to this video about mobile access to Enterprise Vault archives using EV Mobile Search. My name is Phil Walters. I'm a consultant working for Adeptech. Before we get into the details, let's consider why is mobile access to EV items required. Well, one of the main reasons is that mobiles and tablets are becoming the primary email client for many users. Also, aggressive archiving policies caused by quota-based archiving mean that younger and younger emails are being archived. If you're out on the road, you want to have access to all your emails, including the archived ones. Finally, there's support for bring your own device users. Increasingly, users are bringing their own devices to work, and the most common client that they're going to bring is a mobile client. So we need to provide them with solution they can have access to all their emails, including the archived ones. In Enterprise Vault 1101, one of the main new features was the EV Search web application, which is now optimised for smartphones and tablet use. It's not a mobile app, it's just literally a web application, and what it does is it detects the browser string and displays the correct client interface. It's a very simple interface for finding and reading archived emails. To reply to an existing archived email, it must be first copied to the live mailbox. Let's take a look at some of the mobile EV search screens. On the left hand side, you can see the basic search screen. All you need to do is to type your search terms into the what are you looking for field and just press that magnifying glass in the top right hand corner to complete your search. You'll notice there is also an advanced search option. If you press that button, you'll see the advanced search screen as, as shown in the middle screenshot. There are a number of uh, search terms that we can use to complete a more advanced search. In the right hand screenshot, you can see the reading pane with hit highlighting, just as there is in the EV desktop search. If you press the menu in the top right hand corner, you get options including copy to mailbox. What this does is to restore the email to the restored items folder in the user's mailbox so they can reply to it or forward it. There are a number of limitations of EV Mobile Search. You can only access Exchange Mailbox, Public Folder and Internet Mail archives. You can only search in one archive at a time you cannot save search queries for e-use. It cannot export archived items. And you can only restore archived items to the restored items folder in the user's mailbox. Let's look at a number of deployment scenarios now. The best one, if you've got one, is to deploy the web page using an existing mobile device management platform. Support is confirmed with Mobile Iron. Airwatch, Semantic MDM and Good Technology. Another option is to use a mobile VPN such as Juniper or Cisco to access the EV Mobile Search application. Traffic is secured using the normal encryption of the mobile VPN and is effectively internal. If neither of the first two deployment scenarios are possible, then there is a third one that's provided by Veritas, and that is to install what we call an EV Search proxy server. This is a server on the inside of the network, which just literally just has the search access components installed and nothing else. The great thing about this is there's no requirement to publish the EV server on the internet. Instead, to allow access to the EV Search proxy server, it's recommended that you actually publish it via a reverse proxy server, such as Microsoft Threat Management Gateway in a DMZ network. In this way, the mobile search client will access the EV Search proxy server and then transparently be passed through to the EV server. If you're going to install that EV Search proxy server, then all you need to do in the Select Features to Install box is to choose Search Access Components. On the next screen, you then type the Vault Site Alias. This is the DNS alias, the first EV server in the site. 
and then after installation use the IIS console to configure SSL using a service certificate from a public certificate authority. There are a number of requirements for the EVSearch proxy server. It must have the Enterprise Vault API runtime installed, but this is actually installed automatically if not present. IIS 7.5 or later needs to be configured with certain role services. The EVSearch proxy server cannot be an EV server, a SQL server or an exchange server. In terms of pre-installation tasks, obtain a SSL certificate from a public certification authority. Make sure that you configure firewalls and deploy a reverse proxy in the DMZ. And finally ensure that the browsers of end users are configured to allow cookies, enable JavaScript and disable private browsing. So that brings us to the end of this short video. What would be good now is for you to check out the separate demonstration video which shows you in more detail how this works in practice. Thank you for listening.